All right, uh, friends, f- f- <clears throat> friends, followers, and fellow book lovers, uh, I'm back with another little snippet out of the book I'm, I've been reading. And if you saw my social media post, you know the book is The Speed of Trust. Um, a really great read. I've really enjoyed it. And and this is um, out of the fifth wave, and it's societal trust. It says, uh, Carl Rogers says that, oh, no, excuse me. Um, Stephen M. R. Covey says, we see that trust is the fifth wave is a direct result of trustworthiness that begins in the first wave and flows outward in our relationships, in our organizations, and in the marketplace to fill society as a whole. Now, if you go back to uh, Seven Habits, we learn about a uh, center, of, center of influence, um, circle of influence, circle of concern, and how that um, that influence radiates outward from us. And here, uh, Dr. Covey's son kind of extends that concept with the waves as he goes through um, this book, The Speed of Trust. And I really like this because uh, I have seen that as I have extended trust to people that I didn't know that I was meeting, I was getting to know them, that that trust then um, that paid off. And it, it paid off in small ways. Sometimes it paid off in larger ways, depending on the situation. And I have come to really value some of those moments, more some more than others, depending on the situation, but also that I see the value easier in others because of extending trust and reaching out and uh, connecting with other people. Now, the last thing I want to close with this is um, by Pope John 24th, 23rd, I think. Um, yeah, I'm not too hot on my Roman numerals, but okay. The true and solid peace of, of nations consists not in the quality of arms, but in mutual trust alone. And if, if you've read anything by the American founding fathers, one of the ideas and concepts that they firmly believed in is um, one of the things that they firmly believed in was being a good example to other nations. And therefore, what that would allow them to do is um, to have an economic influence on the nations around them. And that would be not just Britain and France, but also um, Canada, Mexico, uh, throughout South America. And, and really, um, for a long time, the United States really led as an excuse me, led as a nation from a place of trust. And they did a phenomenal job of that. Uh, however, at some point, that cultural shift started to change. But I still believe, excuse me, not but, and I still believe that today, the most important thing that entrepreneurs like you and I can do, um, that leaders can do is to build trust in our local communities, and then extend that trust outwards, um, as our circle of influence grows, and expands into our circle of concerns, and then has that ripple effect to our second and tertiary or third uh how do i say that from our first and second con- connections to our third and fourth connections to people that may be friends of friends or associates of associates and that that trust is such a powerful tool um that in my own uh partnerships with with the company that i partnership with for some of my leadership training material um they're really, really high on trust and they don't, they, they trust people to do the right thing. And it's phenomenal because so many people choose to do the right thing because the standard, the standard is set. And I I really believe that we can make a massive impact in our, in our communities locally by extending trust to other, to other business owners, to other people in our community. Um, there's a lady who, uh, surprisingly enough, runs the only um, 
the only dry cleaner in the community. And man, as long as she's running that place, if she's there, absolutely will be more than happy to take my stuff there. Uh, because I went in one time and, um, I don't remember exactly what happened. I think my car declined and she's like, just pay it when you come back. I'm like, no, 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 no. It's okay. And she's no, no, just pay it when you come back. And so I made sure I brought cash like that week or something, or, or I just made sure that I came back sooner than my next pickup, uh, or the next time I brought something because I wanted to, um, to reinforce the trust that she put in me and extend it back, you know, extend that to her by making sure that she got paid um, right away for, for the work that they did. She, phenomenal lady. Um, she has a few people that works for her there and uh, yeah, trust, trust, trust. And the reason I ended up, man, I'm, I'm going to get ahead of myself. All right, look, look, I'm going to do the book review. So um, this goes out in um, like two days and then, um, the book rev review will be out like a Friday. So Wednesday, Friday. Um, all right, my friends, thank you for spending time with me. If you get value from this video, please like and share it. Um, if you know somebody that is looking for a, a coach or a mentor to help them through a tough time with work, with their career, uh, maybe they're feeling stuck in what they're doing. That's what I do. That's part of my coaching program is to help someone to get through that roadblock and get on to another job or to work into a promotion. Um, something that, that they see, they can see themselves doing, but there, there's some resistance there. So, all right, take care. I will talk to you guys later. Go out and make it a great day. And I uh, hope you guys go out and make it a great week. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.